Have you ever stayed up all night studying and still did not do well in the exam? It is incredibly frustrating. However, there is a way that this can never happen again, and it is called spaced practice. Spaced practice literally means a spacing or spreading out your studying over time. So instead of cramming for 12 hours before an exam, you'd spread those 12 hours out over a week or maybe even a whole month. Here's how to implement spaced practice. You only need two things, a course syllabus and a planner. The first step is to go through your syllabus and find the dates of all of the exams. Mark those dates in your planner. You should try to go over each topic at least two or three times before each exam. For example, during week one, you can study chapter one, and then study chapter one again during week two, and maybe again during week three. The idea is that you study each topic several times on different days before each exam date. It can just be an hour or two at a time. Once you've designed the schedule, that's it. You're ready to begin. Just follow the plan and study. Now. If you want to make space practice more effective, here are two ways. The first is to test yourself each time you study. And I don't mean just reading over notes or reading your textbook. I mean taking practice quizzes, making flashcards, or just trying to recall information from memory and then checking your answers. Every time you do this, it's called retrieval practice. And whenever you try to add retrieval practice to your spaced schedule, it makes it even more effective. The second method is to finish your studying a few days before the exam date. That way, you have some extra time to study some especially difficult topics, to take another practice test, or to just get some rest. So, how well does spaced practice work? Over a century of research and over 200 studies have shown that it is one of the most effective ways to study the key seems to be that cramming information just is not effective. Information is quickly forgotten. With space practice, each time you revisit information, it becomes more encoded in the brain and harder to forget. That way, when you try to recall the information later on an exam, you're more likely to do so successfully. So, the next time you have an exam, you have two choices. Wait until the night before and cram all night, or space out your studying and avoid the all-nighters. So, the choice is yours.